A uniformed Alexandria, Virginia, police officer encountered a distressing situation when she was reportedly denied service at a local noodles and company restaurant by one of the cooks. The female cook refused to serve the officer while she was in uniform, prompting the officer to leave the restaurant after a disrespectful encounter. According to Alexandria police spokeswoman Crystal Nozel, as the officer waited in line for dinner, a female cook approached the register and stated, you better pull me off the line, because I'm not serving that, pointing towards the officer. The cook and the cashier shared a laugh at the officer's expense. Choosing not to escalate the situation, the officer calmly left the restaurant, remarking, I guess you don't want my money. However, she promptly reported the incident to her superior, prompting Alexandria Police Chief Earl Cook to take action. Chief Cook visited the restaurant to address the disrespectful behavior of the employees with management. The cook and cashier soon realized the gravity of their mistake, facing repercussions for their actions. Reflecting on the incident, Chief Cook expressed his initial anger upon hearing what happened. He emphasized the importance of respectful interactions, particularly in challenging times for police community relations. He noted that he believed his officer handled the situation admirably by choosing to disengage rather than escalate the confrontation. He expressed surprise that such an incident occurred in Alexandria, where there is typically a positive relationship between local law enforcement, businesses, and residents. Following the incident, the restaurant assured Chief Cook that they would conduct an investigation. Subsequently, management confirmed that the incident unfolded as described by the officer. In response, the restaurant released a statement emphasizing their commitment to ethical behavior and respect for all customers. Noodles & Company expects the highest ethical and personal behavior from its team members. The statement began. We value each of our guests and are committed to treating everyone with dignity and respect. We do not tolerate any form of discrimination. The restaurant pledged to cooperate with authorities and local police association representatives to address the matter promptly. While efforts were made to contact the involved police officer, communication had not yet been established. The restaurant assured that they would continue investigating and take appropriate actions based on the outcome of the review. Following their initial statement, Noodles & Company has taken decisive action, terminating the employment of both employees involved in the incident, as reported by the Washington Post. The company emphasized that the behavior exhibited by these individuals was unacceptable and does not align with the values of the company or the rest of the staff at the Duke Street location. We have concluded that the actions of the two team members were inappropriate and we have immediately terminated their employment, the company stated in a follow-up announcement. We hold law enforcement officials in the highest regard and cherish the relationship we have fostered with the local Alexandria Police Department over the years. In addition to apologizing to Chief Cook and the officer affected, the restaurant is taking further steps to rectify the situation and reaffirm their support for local law enforcement. According to Pete Feltham, a representative for the Alexandria Police Union, the restaurant plans to display signs on their doors expressing their backing for the police. We hope that the actions of a few individuals do not tarnish the reputation of the business, Feltham remarked. The incident garnered the attention of Alexandria Mayor Allison Silberberg, who expressed appreciation for Noodles and Company's prompt and thorough response. She affirmed that after extensive discussions with the company's leadership, they are confident that the incident was an isolated occurrence and should not reflect on the company or its other dedicated employees. The Fox News article on the incident sparked outrage among many readers, with some drawing parallels to other instances of discrimination. One reader expressed indignation, suggesting that the offended officer should pursue legal action, drawing comparisons to cases like the Oregon Bakery's refusal to serve a gay couple. Another reader took a pragmatic stance, highlighting concerns about potential risks to food safety in such situations. In either case, it underscores the troubling reality that individuals may face discrimination or apprehension simply because of their chosen profession. The notion that anyone should worry about the treatment they receive based on their career path, particularly in contexts as essential as food service, reflects a disheartening state of affairs.